again, um, coming at you with a double review because these are going to be short and sweet. These are both manga. Um, so let's get right to it. First, I want to talk about this book. Neuro Rise of the Yokai Clan, or this series. It's not this book, this series, not this volume. And it's Neuro Rise of the Yokai Clan, and the main character is not on the cover, I don't know why. Probably because it's volume 12. These are yokai. I yokai means happens. demons. Um, it, so this is also, if you read it online, you can read it on manga here, and it's called Nora Ri Hyon, bleh, Nora Ri Hyon no Mago by Hiroshi Shibashi, or Shibashi. There's two eyes. I don't know, it's Japanese. This has 210 chapters or 24 volumes. I haven't talked about this before, but manga is released chapter by chapter. This is a republication, guys. This is an original. This is an original type of publication. In Japan, manga is released one chapter every week and or every month in magazines, such as Jump Magazine, Beat Magazine, a whole bunch of different magazines. Um, this is from Jump Magazine. Uh, this is the English version shown in Jump. In America, we release it once a month, but in Japan, it's once a week. And they have like 50, chap 50 different mangas and it's a lot bigger than this, it's got a lot more, and they release one chapter at a time. And after they release so many of the jumps, they then rebind it all together and sell it in volume form. So it has t the length is 210 chapters, or 24 volumes. This is one of my favorite series ever. This is my third favorite series ever. ever. First is um, Fullmetal Alchemist, and second is uh, Rurouni Kenshin, and then it's Nora Rise of the Yokai Clan. Real quick, the story follows, not the not the girl, but the boy, this guy right here. I don't know if you can see it, but that's it. Um, his name is Rikuo, or Nora Rikuo, because Nora is his last name. He's one-fourth yokai, or demon, and he decides at either, I read what the mangaka wrote to try to sell it, which is called a one-shot, which is like 50 to 100 pages long. I read that first, so I can't recall what the stories are different. So I can't recall if it was before the manga started or if it was, um, like, during the first few chapters he decided, I just want to be human. I'm denying my demon side. I don't want to be part yokai. I don't want to be a yokai. I want to be a human. Um, and the story follows how he learns to accept both sides of him. Um, it starts when he's 12 because in the age of demons, that's the, that's when he's an adult. This is his demon form. He's starting to fade to his human form, but that's what his demon form looks like. He looks like an adult. Um, right there he looks kind of like a later teen, but he looks like he's 20. And he drinks sake or alcohol at times too. It's also his path to, to form his own uh, night parade of a hundred demons. And then he wants to become Lord Pandemonium or King of All Yokai. It has four arcs, and Rico grows with each arc. The things that I love about it is each arc is connected to one another. The finale is really, it's the, it settles all of the arcs all at once. A lot of times with manga, it's kind of like a TV show, you know, they, oh, a new bad guy shows up, and a new bad guy shows up. They are all really connected. It's not just following this one dude in his different stories. It's all the same story, and I thought that was really good. I love seeing this guy. And, and this guy. That is, this is Nora Rihion, and the other guy is Ri, Nora Rihan. Uh, Nora Rihion is his grandfather, Nora Rihan is his dad. Um, and I love just seeing their stories, following, they have little side stories where you get to see them in charge, and how they're each, all three of them are so different. It's just really cute. Um, I also like what happened to uh, Rihan's first wife. That's kind of like this mystery. She just randomly disappeared because Rihan is one half yokai. He lived to be about a 300 years old. Um, and for 200 or 250 years, he was with this woman and then she disappeared. And it's really cool. That's a big plot point of how what happened to her. And my very favorite scenes, there's like two of them I think, is when Rikuo's classmates come over and one time, I think it's during this big meeting. So they have hundreds and hundreds of big yokai who eat humans and a bunch of middle school human students. And they can't run into each other. And it's this, there's certain yokai are like, you have to stay in this part of the house and Riko has to go from being, I am Lord Pandemonium. I'm forming my own night parade to, okay guys, do you want to go outside and play? 
<laughs> it's really fun to watch and it's just hilarious. So yeah, I give this five out of five stars. I love this series. I recommend it to anyone who can handle kind of spooky stuff. There is parts that made me a little grossed out, like a demon. His body breaks apart and each part becomes its own demon. It's really, really gross. Like there's his intestines, there's his eyes, there's his tongue. Oh, it's gross. It's gross. Um, so, and there's a little bit of blood, but I definitely recommend this if you can handle manga and you like a spookier side. So moving on to the other book that I have, I don't actually have it, but I will put in the titles for it, and it's the Anne of Green Gables manga by Igarashi Yumiko. Oh, down below I'll put, um, please get this from your local library, but the Anne of Green Gables manga you can't get in the U.S. They're not releasing it in English. So I'm going to put down below to manga here where you can read that. Um, so there are three books that were changed in a manga. First is Akage no Anne, which is Anne of Green Gables. Anne no Seishun, Anne of Avonlea. Um, I don't know what Anne no Seishun means, but I don't think it means Avonlea. And then Anne no Aiju, which is Anne of the Island. I had never read the series before I picked up this manga. I was literally bored on a Sunday. I'm very religious, and because I'm super religious, I very I like don't do certain things on the Sabbath, so I try to if I'm gonna read, I have to be careful of what I read. And I was like, hey, they have Anna Green Gables manga. This is like okay to read on a Sunday. And I may read the series now. In fact, I'm planning to uh, for hashtag a yearathon. Uh, I always do the hashtag symbol. Don't ask me why. It's what I do. But in hashtag a yearathon, they're doing a uh, six month. I think it's June or July. And I will probably read it now because of it. It covers like all the points of the book because all the time Raven, she's behind the camera. Hi. She, would, she would be asking me like, I don't know if this is in the manga, but this plot point. I'm like, oh yeah. And she's like, what about this plot point? Yes. And that one. And How that one. How dare you call me carrots? Smash. That was hilarious. Totally broke it right on his head. And he just kind of sat there like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. It was so funny. It's really fun to watch a bright girl turn into a lady. That was really fun to watch. Um, it covers most, it only, because co it's only the first three books, it covers mostly her youth and her love story. And I really wish there was more. I wish they had the whole series out in manga form. I don't know if there will. There may be more, but that's all I can find online. Um, and it's not an adventure, but as it is, with what the story is, it's really, really good. And I give it a 5 out of 5 stars. Um, my favorite parts, I'm going to try not to be spoilerific, I don't think I am, but um, my favorite... Well, the book came out in like 1860-something, <laughs> so if they haven't read it, it's their own fault. It's been out for over 100 years. My favorite part is the landscapes, really. The landscapes of the manga, it's breathtaking. I read tons of manga and very few have the breathtaking landscapes they put so much effort into these landscapes it's like she's like it's like this the golden lane or lane of golden light or something uh the white way of delight the white white lane of delight wow it deserved that title it is so beautiful and what they call it in real life it's called the avenue yeah, like when the lake, when she's out on the lake, like what Gilbert has to rescue her. Oh my gosh, I'm like, that is so pretty. The landscapes are just drop dead beautiful. It's the best landscapes I've seen in a manga or a comic, hands down. Yes, Ray. <laughs> There's one thing, you guys. Um, Avonlea, the town where Anne of Green Gables takes place, is a real town on a real island in Canada. So th I don't know if the guy went there and drew the pictures himself or what, but there, all the places that are described in the in the books and are probably pictured in the in the manga actually exist. Yeah, I probably looked it up, but it's just beautiful. Oh my gosh, um, her and Gilbert, that's the male lead. It's well done. I liked how it was done. I liked how there were so many things conveyed in just one panel of just the facial expressions. That's a good manga. If you're just like, whoa, when you can see it in the face. Um, oh, that's actually, that's a sign of a good manga because not all manga can do that. I've read lots of manga that they don't and it, they covered that really well. 
Um, and my favorite out of the three is Akage no Anne. That actually means Anne of the Red Hair. <laughs> but it's Anne of Green Gables. So yeah, I get five out of five stars. I'll link down below where you can read this. I'll And you can read um, Nora Rihion on Manga Here, which is Nora Rise of the Yokai Clan. I definitely recommend both of these to everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to see more um, ramblings on and on about different manga and books and tags. Like I'll link also down below um, my first line challenge. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!